I'm gonna move out to LA and pursue my dreams of being broke and unemployed. <laughs> and it's happening! <laughs> Things are, the ball is rolling. Um, actually, people don't believe me when I tell them I'm from Texas. Like, people in LA are like, there's no Jews in Texas. <laughs> and people in Texas are like, there's no Jews in Texas. <laughs> so I got the fuck out. Um, I, was, I was there recently and like we, I went out with uh, some friends to a bar and it never fails. There's always like some redneck that comes up to you and he's like, you ain't from around here, are you? And I'm like, actually, I am from around here. Um, I was born here. You should know that, dad. <laughs> and dad hates me. <laughs> People, but my relatives don't really get LA. They just think it's just like movie stars and party time everywhere, which it kind of is, according to this lady. <laughs> but, um, so I. <laughs> I don't know. I'll finish with that. Uh, so my mom just came out here and she hates LA, which is fine because I hate my mom. <laughs> uh, but she actually, she's the one that put it into my head that. I should move out here because she's one like they were talking about earlier like she's one of those people that's like just follow your dreams you can be whatever you want to be and like when I have kids I'm gonna like set a little I'm gonna be like you can be a hairstylist and if they do anything better than that they'll be like I fucking am really good at life like I'm not good I don't want to set them up for failure don't tell them they can be whatever they want to be uh, but having her here was, you know, really nice. Like, she always tries to give me advice about, like, my career. She's like, you know what you need to do? You need to write a letter to Oprah. I'm like, what the fuck is writing a letter to Oprah gonna do for her? So, I did what any normal man would do, and I wrote a letter to Oprah. It's like, dear Oprah. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> I like your wigs. Um, please charter a... Uh, Plane to Australia and get John Travolta to, to pilot it, please. <laughs> she did it! She reads letters! I don't know. That's great. Um, I'm actually unemployed. Um, believe it or not. It's kind of hard to get a job when your best skill is quitting jobs. Like, no one wants... Yeah, I was in an interview the other day. He's like, where do you see yourself in five years? I'm like, why don't you ask me where I see myself in five days? And I'll probably have quit by then, so... But I'm just not good. Like, I had a job waiting tables recently, and, like, it was fine, but I don't like how people think they're so interesting when they're ordering. Like, they're like... Uh, I, this one lady was like, let me get a turkey sandwich, and I know this is going to sound weird, but can you put no mayonnaise on that? I'm like, that's not really a weird request. That's just, like, a normal thing. Like, I want someone to be like, um, let me get the turkey sandwich, and I know this is going to sound weird, but can you skull fuck the bread while wearing a Hitler mustache? I'm like, yes! That is interesting! I love waiting tables! Thank you! Ah, look in the back. <clears throat> so I'm not really dating much. I don't know why. It's not because I fuck bread. It's for different reasons. <clears throat> But I, I get hit on, like, every now and then, but not, like, I, I get hit on by older gay men and older gay women. So, like, cougars and bears. Just, I'm like, fucking Dr. Doolittle. Or, like, Noah's Ark. I'm like, cougars and bears, come on. Bring it on. I'm like, it's fun. I mean, I like getting hit on by anybody, but when you get hit on by, like, an older gay man, like, everything just becomes sexual. And, like, the other day I was at a dinner party uh, with some friends. There was this guy sitting there. I don't hit Baloo. I don't know what his name was. And he's like, I'm like, hey, can you pass this salt? And he's like, honey, that's not the only thing I'll pass. <laughs> like, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Like, are you going to pass gas or like a golf cart? Like, I wonder if he does that just in real life. Like, everywhere. Like, he's at the grocery store and the girl's like, paper and plastic. And he's like, honey, wrap it up 